When you're part of a community, often that means overlooking odd things. I mean, we've all dealt with it. People walking their cats in pajamas at 6 p.m. Uh, the f people are in the pajamas, not the cats. Um, your neighbors sitting outside in a circle of lit candles during the full moon, the line at Culver's. Um, this, of course, is a very roundabout way of talking about the poem that was left taped to the museum door this morning. Ellie, a museum intern, uh, gave it to me. Said they found it when they opened. When they handed me that piece of paper, there was something in their eyes that looked distant and misty. At first I thought it was boredom, but I ended up asking them why they looked so afraid. And they just handed me the poem. So, we stood on my porch and read it. The paper itself is thicker, and a rougher texture too, like cardstock. What the message of the poem is, I can't really say. I doubt the author intended for some college-age museum intern and their nosy friend to read it. In fact, the author is pretty much nonsensical throughout the entire poem, but I suppose it's a story of sorts, and thus belongs to you. The general public. The poem reads, I fear the stars. We call them stars. The things that shine above you in the sky as a paint swatch of colors, and the moon peaks behind the clouds that seem to grow more and more prevalent each night. Once you stare, they tangle you in their glowing, immeasurable pattern in the vast expanse where your brain insists that there has to be a pattern there's not. When you stare at those things, those stars, time stands still in a beautiful way. Something inside of you feels like it moves ever closer to where it's supposed to be, at least temporarily. But it's a false sense of change, and when it's gone, you're stuck realizing that you're still standing with your feet on the ground, staring at the stars, nowhere different than you were before. But I am beginning to realize that they are not stars at all. We will continue to call them such only because we have never known anything else. We need their patternless pattern. If they are gone, gone means nothing. We will be nothing. So yes, I fear the stars, but I fear the night more without them. And there has been so few stars lately. More prose than poetry, but to be quite honest, reading it deeply unsettles me in a way that I can't really explain. I mean, the way the final line is posited. Oh my god. Apologies, listeners. Someone needs to leave me a cryptic poem telling me to change the light bulb in my room. As for the piece of paper, I think I'll keep it. Take it to the potter's field and bury it. Just in case. Stay curious, nowhere. Going Nowhere, a weekly mystery podcast coming to you May 19th, 2020. Make sure to subscribe to catch the first episode. If you like what you heard, consider leaving us a review or dropping a like. Your support matters. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Nowhere underscore pod or tweet using the NowherePod hashtag. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.